What's up, YouTube? We have another helicopter here. Uh, another Blade Heli. This is the uh, Blade 330S. This is the current uh, helicopter they offer. And yes, that's an Airwolf. That's a Bell 222 on top of the box. And currently, the helicopter inside of that fuselage is the uh, Blade 330S. It's a fuselage made for the Align T-Rex 450, but the Blade 330S is actually a 450 helicopter. Just back in the day, they used to uh, determine the determine the, the size of the heli of your helis by the uh, can size of the motor. Um, nowadays, they're determined they determine the size, which is a more appropriate way of of telling the size is by the blade length. Uh, this is swinging a 330 uh, millimeter blade and you know as far as the pouting boom goes for this helicopter you know it fits right in this uh, fuse uh, fairly easy without any modifications uh, they do have a new version of this uh, fuselage on eBay and it no longer uses screws for the uh, front portion of the can of the uh, fuselage it's magnetic um, I guess that's good because it's easy access to your battery and your electronics and your connectors. Uh, the only thing that I did find was that what I feel like may become an issue is if you're doing any hard 3D with the, uh, the magnet type uh, fuses, you might run the risk of uh, having that uh, front portion come off and falling in flight and maybe hitting your blades or whatnot. And it may lead into a crash, something I never tried. I am, you know, recently I've been uh, showing interest in uh, scale helicopters and and I, I normally don't go that route, but, you know, why not? I mean, that's what a helicopter is anyways. Uh, this is where it came from and might as well get some uh, some scale helis in here. But yeah, my, my, my Blade 330 is in there and... For anyone that wants this can this canopy fuse, whatever you want to call it, uh, this body, you can get it on eBay. Just uh, search up uh, Airwolf uh, 450 Heli fuselage. It should pop up, and uh, it'll be black and white. You'll have a few options. Uh, the, it is shipped by uh, through China. I actually got mine through my local hobby shop, and they. Uh, um, they sold this for me for to, for like 70 bucks, but it, it didn't have a landing gear, so I'm, I'm going to fabricate my own anyways. I'm not going to go too crazy with this by installing retracts or anything like that, but um, I probably will uh, uh, install or make a landing gear with a suspension with springs or something just to give it a little more uh, realism when I come to land. <clears throat> And yeah, that's a pretty cool helicopter now. Not that it wasn't before, but you know, it, it just gives it a lot of character. And it, it honestly, with with the fuselage, a scale of fuse uh, body, flying this thing feels like it's you know so much bigger. You know, visibility is is a night and day difference. You know, losing orientation is much harder than you'd normally have with. Um, regular canopy uh, I mean granted that this is a you know high visibility uh, paint scheme and it looks great in this in the Sun but <clears throat> there's something about this uh, scale uh, fuse that you know makes a big difference when you're flying <clears throat> it just looks more planted in the air uh, the the extra weight you know gives it uh, a much better feel when you're, you're doing sport flying and loops and whatnot and also because with this can with this fuse sorry i keep saying canopy i'm just not used to having any uh, fuselages uh it's a little tail heavy just move your battery forward and if most of the time it fixes it it's just i just put it together uh, somewhat just to uh, put it away um I was still able to do some pretty moderate uh, 3D flying with this. It didn't affect it at all. At least not that I could notice. And 
uh, let's talk about the 330s. Uh, for those of you guys who are interested in the 330s, I, re I really recommend this one. You know, especially because <clears throat> Horizon Hobby, most of their helicopters, if not all, uh, except their, for as far as this, you know, 450 size helicopters, you would consider now 330 or 360 um, helis. Um, most of them are bind and fly. This one's also available in a bind and fly uh, kit. The, uh, but this current one that I have is a ready to fly one. And I let my, my transmitter uh, go to someone who, you know, was interested in the hobby. And I let them have it so that they can, uh, you know, kind of just a, I don't really need the, the, the transmitter it comes with. But <clears throat> I just happened so to pick this one up from my local hobby shop as well. And, and I'm going to say this, you know, <clears throat> I started flying my helicopters since I was around 12 years old. I started off with like a Pico Z, you know, the Havoc Heli, and, and those were two channel helicopters. And, you know, to this day, I still have my, my Havoc Helis, but uh, they were made by Air Hog or something like that. And, you know, I flew a couple of SEMAs, uh, you know, the little scale helicopters. Uh, and I can say one thing, you know, flying a, a six channel versus a two channel, somehow a two channel now is harder than flying a six channel. It, it's weird. It's just muscle memory. Uh, it just takes practice and and yeah guys so i started with those uh and excuse my room i have a mess right now i've been messing with helicopters all week again so <clears throat> i have um i have my walkira helicopters back there uh these helicopters when i first started off um those were i guess advertised as beginner friendly and and whatnot, but really those were pretty much the full, the 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 complete, you know, package. I mean, you you weren't, you didn't have any stability modes. You didn't have any panic recoveries, uh, features, or you didn't have anything to you know to save you. So <clears throat> that's where this uh, helicopter came into my into my uh, into my life when when I first started to getting. You know more serious in the hobby you know i finally you know decided to to well one day i decided to pick up my 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 i believe that's the uh the walkira uh d03 uh 450 d03 and i bought that one i flew it and it does have a uh more stable i guess the way when you fly that one it feels very stable if you're flying around mid stick it won't roll over uh, it'll stay kind of upright and kind of uh, slightly correct so it made it easier to fly now <clears throat> when I had the 330s the first thing I that caught my attention was that it had panic recovery and stability modes where it wouldn't allow you to roll it and you know you had a, a feature where you apply the button and uh, if you lose orientation or just you know you're flipping it around and, and, and whatever situation is you apply that button and and, uh, and it activates the panic recovery and the helicopter comes back up and rides itself to, to level which is awesome because I as I was flying my older birds you know I, I really wouldn't I would progress but it'd be a much more expensive you know uh, the progress was expensive that's for sure because I, I crash it and the downtime was horrible uh given the the given the uh given that i had to you know order parts from china and ally express and, and whatever parts weren't easy to come by and you know when this opportunity came up to get another one you know i i went with horizon hobby and i went with their 330s you know parts were always available you know my most of my hobby short most of sorry most of my hobby shops, uh, my local hobby shops. You know they all had the parts I needed for these, and you know that's just something that's good about Horizon that any part you you need they'll have it. Um, things go back order, but they come back pretty soon. The the good thing about any products from Horizon Hobby is it's 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 all sourced in in the U.S. and 
because of that you know this is like a it's a U, United US company um, it, their focus their, their main focus is here and you know you, you don't have to worry about you know parts availability or things like that you know so I kind of stayed I prefer to stay away from other helicopter brands just because of that it, it's more difficult to to acquire parts and, and you know get it back in the air and because of that parts are more expensive too sometimes <clears throat> so most of the time when I did buy helicopter parts I'd buy a bunch and a, and a buttload just so that I can have a stockpile and, and keep myself in the air so I picked this one up and when I first flew it definitely had much more uh, power it was much more noticeable than the uh, Walkira uh, you know you notice that this thing spools up slowly it's more uh, it's more it's a more uh, a beginner friendly helicopter this is actually something that i'd consider and recommend for someone who really wants to jump into the hobby and and kind of skip of skip all those uh micros and or whatever or just move up from a micro to this to a bigger helicopter uh, the reason i recommend the 330s is not because it's much easier to fly than than their other helicopters they all have the panic recovery the safe functions stability mode they all have that so uh, in that aspect they're all easy to fly and even their biggest ones which is their their fusion 480 stretch kit <clears throat> so with that said the reason I recommend this one is because it's the only one that they offer in this size uh, as of as a ready to fly and the the price um, you get a good run for your money. It's five hundred four ninety nine, you know, uh, versus paying for their next helicopter, um, in, in this uh, class, which would be the three sixty. This is gonna be the same price. The three sixty is five hundred dollars as well, but it's a bind and fly, and you have no uh, no transmitter, and I guess it's just a decision you'd have to, uh, um, uh, you know you know come into a conclusion where you either get a, a good transmitter first and then save that money uh down the line and then just you know pick up helicopters buying it fight as it, they're released or you kind of just stick to you know it just depends how how fast you guys progress and or just stick to one helicopter for a while and then move on from there and finally go get your transmitter of your choice um, when you get a transmitter of your choice, I recommend you kind of look into the future a bit and kind of see how you feel uh, with your with your progress and how you feel with uh, moving up uh, with uh, bigger helicopters and you know maybe considering airplanes, whatever it is. Um, that's going to determine how many channels you should buy and invest in uh, the transmitter you want, um, because that would eliminate the the uh it'll stop you from uh, having to upgrade transmitters again in the near future uh because once you're you you progress you know you're going to want more and more and uh not to say that not not necessarily um saying that you, you're going to want more helicopters or more things but you, you're going to want to uh, upgrade eventually you're not going to want to stick with the a beginner helicopter and you know Pretty much the 330S flies similar to the, the 360, but as you fly it, I mean, I can't really explain, but you know, the, as you get a better, as you upgrade your, your, your equipment, your helicopters, your kits, you know, you're, you're going to notice a big difference, you know, and some helicopters are more nimble, lighter. They're just, well, much more, they're balanced better and they feel better in the air and more crisp, more agile. I mean, you name it, you know, the presence is, it feels different. You know, the weight feels different. Um, everything feels different. You know, uh, the, the disc loading, it just, you'd have to fly it to know. But for those of you guys who don't have the time or, you know, the money to spend on, you know, multiple uh, helicopters and make mistakes and and whatnot I mean I think this is a good one to crash and yes I said crash because parts are very cheap for this one uh, it's pretty easy to fix and aside from that um, it's mostly plastic 
and really that's going to keep you from spending you know it's probably the biggest helicopter that's ready to fly that i know of from any helicopter brand that's you know very cheap to repair uh at this size so uh i think the 330s is still very you know it's one of their best kits uh, you know or i don't know what you want to call uh, heli models they offer now as of today just because of the price and what you're getting in the box and <clears throat> i know most of you guys may prefer to start with uh i don't know like a 180 150 size helicopter which is cool i mean there's many options out there but it's not going to compare ever to you know i think uh, a 330 or 360 size helicopter uh, swinging a 330 millimeter blade or 360 which would you consider a 450 size heli is probably the best way to go uh, especially to progress and, and build the confidence in the hobby because the bigger you go the more intimidate, intimidating they, they feel uh in the beginning and and yeah i mean it's 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 a it's a very very quick pace uh learning curve with with the 330s you know i feel like if i hadn't had the 330s and if i hadn't you know jumped into the hobby with this uh specific uh helicopter i would have probably been discouraged a bit just because you know the downtime of having to learn and put them back together and and getting parts and spending more money and it just <clears throat> it was very uh, discouraging to to proceed with the hobby um especially you know just i you know even when i was flying I, I'd, I'd always think like why why don't they you know incorporate some type of uh stability system where it kind of just flies you know more uh like a drone and and yeah they finally they they did it i mean it gets it's been, it's been out for quite some time now but uh, i'm not sure if everyone knows about it and you know I, i've heard many people who fly drones like hey this is like you know i can't believe you fly helicopters like those things are really hard like how do you keep your orientation and you know when i hear this i feel like hey you know where have you been you know you've probably been under a rock for too long but um, yeah, I mean, these any of you any of you guys who fly drones, um, this is a, a very good uh, um, kit to get, you know, to start off and, and start flying helicopters. It's a different experience. To me, I've flown drones, planes, um, everything, and, and whatever, as far as everything goes, you know, I think, to me, helicopters are, are the main you know that's like the holy grail uh it's more challenging it's definitely more rewarding because uh, you got to acquire skills to you know to, to fly these things they don't fly themselves um granted you're not flying in stability mode because it's practically flying itself almost but uh, once you're out of stability mode and you're doing your you know you're making that helicopter go where where you want it to be it's just a very rewarding experience just because you know i don't know guys it's 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 to me it's it's very uh i don't know it's the best thing you can do as far as uh anything rc you know i've done rc cars and they're all cool but i, I guess it gets tiring and boring after some time um you're very open to you know expanding your your your, your skills here you can do so much with 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 the helis so I'd say you guys consider it, and it's a great hobby. It does require you to be more disciplined, though. It's more dangerous. I'm not saying it. The the the, the other uh, other RCs aren't dangerous, but you know the helicopters. You know you're you're already swinging a uh, you know this blade at high RPMs. Uh, bit comes in contact with someone, it's definitely gonna hurt someone already. And anyways, here it is again, and. Uh, Happy flying, guys. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy the canopy or the fuse, whatever you want to call it. You can get it on eBay and slap your little uh, 330S in there and have fun with this thing. This is one of the best kits and honestly one of the best ones to jump into scale and, you know, keep your 3D and sport flying, uh, flying characteristics without having to compromise anything because of the fuselage. So anyways, thank you guys, and here's a 330S. Uh, go pick one up and enjoy it.
Bye bye.